All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of Footballers. Today is episode eight. It is the penultimate episode, which means after this one, there is just one episode left, and we will find out who has won the first ever series of Footballers. As usual in this episode, we're gonna have a football challenge, a real life football challenge between me, some YouTubers, some hashtag players, all sorts of people, and then we're gonna play a game of FIFA. Before we get into all that though, let's take a look at the FIFA results from last round. Okay, so if you watched last episode, you know that I beat James Stevens 3-1. I recommend you go back and watch it if you did miss it because it was a corker of a game. It could have been all over for me in the first five minutes. Uh, Seb managed to beat George Benson 1-0. Ryan Adams gets the 3-0 win against the disqualified Josh. Theo Baker won 5-1 against Lewis. And in the game of the round, Charlie Morley put 6 past the man's dock. Let's take a look at what the league table now looks like with those games taken into consideration. Okay, so I've still played one more game than Ryan Adams. I've got the three point lead, but he has got a game in hand. If he wins it and scores enough goals, he could go top of this leaderboard. And there's still time for Theo to win the whole thing as well, currently sitting in third place. Meanwhile, at the bottom, we know Josh has already come last. He's been disqualified. George is in second to last place with four points. Man's dog with six. Still pretty tight. Okay, let's get into today's real life football challenge. It's gonna be a free kick challenge. And we've got some free kick specialists in the Footballer series. Charlie Morley, Theo Baker, basically do it for a living on their channel. Meanwhile, Seb is still the official free kick taker for Hashtag United, and he'll want to protect that claim. But before we see who won the free kicks, let's find out what rewards are available. Okay, whoever scores the most free kicks is going to get any four players to add to their squad. And at this point in the series, that should really finish off your squad and you should be looking at a pretty good team by that point. Second place will get any three players, third place will get any two players and everyone else will get one player. Okay, it's time to find out who won the free kick challenge, let's go. Okay, up first is Charlie Morley, he's got to beat the wall and Andy Jeff Swartz in goal and that one, a nice curl but it was uh, very high and wide. Seb up next, it's good! Oh, it just didn't come round in time. Can Steven score? Oh, it's gone over the wall and it's hit the post! That's unlucky. Man's dog was a free kick specialist in his day. It's not his day anymore. Ryan Adams, what's he got in his locker? He's got a locker that's gone over the goal. That's what's the problem. Uh, George Benson, that's nice whippage from George. Just not on target. Not enough people hitting the target. But what about Theo? The curl on that could have taken your eyebrows off. Lewis Preston, Lou, are you gonna get the first goal, son? Well, not quite. He went to try and go over the wall. What about me? Uh, it's on target. And it moved a little bit, but right in the uh, path of Andy. Meanwhile, that one's nice from Charlie. And we have our first goal. That was splendid, by the way. Not even Andy could save it, even though he did get a touch to it. So Charlie's got a goal. Seb on the left peg now. Oh, my God. I thought it was going in. The wind really took that one. Decent effort. James Stevens. Can he get off the mark here? He's hit the wall, and that's going to hurt him. He's down. We've repaired him. Man's dog up next. Hits it. Curl's good but it didn't have enough whip on it to beat Andy. Ryan Adams now has also hit that same man again. I'm feeling sorry for him. George Benson, what have you got? Again, the movement on that ball was naughty, but Andy saved it. Theo, though, what a strike from Theo. I can't believe it didn't go in. It skimmed the bar. Lewis Preston, what have you got, son? Again, good whippage, but it didn't get down in time. My attempt has hit the middle man in the kneecaps. Charlie Morley, I mean, I don't know what he was trying there, but it moved like nothing I've ever seen before. Seb has gone off target with his third attempt. James Stevens, he's on target. Oh, what a save from Andy. Man's dog. Come on, man's dog. No, no, no. Perhaps we're too near the goal. Perhaps people needed to be further away. Ryan is going to curl that one wide. George Benson, he's hit it. And it's off the bar. Some people getting very unlucky here. Theo Baker has hit him in the hip. Okay, Lewis goes again. And he's going to just get pushed over the bar by Andy. My third attempt is awful. Let's not talk about it. Charlie Morley now. We've moved over to the other side for his fourth attempt. Oh, I thought it had beaten him. I thought it had beaten him. Seb on golf. Hits it off the bar. So much woodwork here. I can't believe it. We could have had some great goals. James Stevens. Oh, beat the wall but didn't beat Andy. Faisal. Man's dog. Hits a couple of them in the wall. There's no double points for that, Faisal. Ryan has put it straight in the hands of Andy. George Benson. It's been caught by Andy. Theo Baker. That's nice. Oh, and it's in. It was too low for Andy to save. We have another goal, people. Thank God for that. Okay, so Theo's off the mark. Can Lewis get one here? Oh, it could have been good, you know, if it hadn't clipped the wall there. What about me? What have I got my locker? Decent strike, but Andy had it covered. Charlie Morley. Can he make it two from five? He hits it very well, but he just hasn't found the target enough. And Seb's been unlucky not to score as that one goes wide. Stevens has got taken by the wind. He's missed all five. Man's dog. Has also missed all five. Ryan Adams, can he get himself a goal here? 
Oh, wow. Wow, Andy was rooted there. That was actually very nice from Ryan. Fair play to your son. George Benson, can he get one? No, it's not going to come down in time. What about Theo Baker? He's already got one. He can't make it too. Can Lewis get one off the mark here? He's absolutely taking him out. And finally, I've dragged it wide. I'm not a free kick taker. Okay, it's time for the first place playoff. Charlie Morley almost beats Andy, but he saves it. Theo Baker goes low, and it's a clever tactic. That is a clever tactic. It counts. He gets a goal, and as a result, he's in a very good position to win. Unless Ryan can score here, which he can't. So, Theo has first place. We're now going for second place. As Charlie gets it around the wall beautifully. That's a very nice free kick. Let's take another look at this from Charlie. Yeah, Andy couldn't cover that side here. Ryan has to score, or else he's come third, and Andy saves it. There you go. Okay, so it's perhaps no surprise that Theo Baker and Charlie Morley bossed this one. Uh, Theo won it. He gets any four players to add to his team. His team will be looking very decent. Charlie's team was already looking decent. And he's going to be adding another three players to his team now. Ryan Adams did well to finish third. He gets any two players to add to his squad. While the rest of us, we get one player. Okay, let's take a look at everyone's updated squads after the rewards. Okay, Theo Baker had any four players to add to his squad. He's gone with one to watch Depay on the left wing. He's gone with team of the season Verratti. He's gone with Mario Goetze and Thiago Silva. You may notice was someone that Lewis took into his team a few episodes ago, but actually since uh, realised he couldn't afford him and actually took Perrin in the end. So no one actually got Thiago Silva, which meant Theo was okay to have him here. Okay, for a while, Charlie Morley has just been adding players to his substitutes bench because his team was kind of complete a while ago. He's done so well in the football challenges. And he's added three more players to the bench here with the likes of Defoe, Rashford and Van Arnholt, meaning that his bench is actually better than some people's teams. And Ryan had any two players to add. He's gone with team of the season, Lalana, and he's gone with Eden Hazard. His team is coming together nicely. I had one player. I've gone with uh, the road to Rio man himself. I had him in the squad because of that series. So why not add Rio Ferdinand to centre back? Seb's team was looking pretty decent as well. He had one player to add and he's gone with uh, legend Effenberg who might not start for him. He could put him in at left back. I think what's more realistic is that he'll probably take Laudrup off and put Effenberg in CDM and Hull it into camp. Meanwhile, the man's dog has brought in Gabriel Paulista as a centre-back, which helps with chemistry. He links with Pickford, Jagielka, Mariano and Guiliano. And surprise, surprise, George has continued his Chelsea theme, bringing in Kurt Zuma to the heart of his defence. James Stevens had any one player and he's gone with Leighton Baines to sort the left-back spot out. And finally, Lewis Preston could bring anyone in. He's gone with Aurier at right-back to continue his League R theme. So we know the squads. Now it's time to find out who's playing who in this penultimate round of FIFA matches. Now this is the episode where I'm actually not going to have a game because it's when I would have been playing Josh. I'll be getting the 3-0 win for this one. Instead, we're going to be watching a different game today. and It's going to be a massive game, in fact, between Lewis Preston and Ryan Adams, which could have huge ramifications for who wins this league. The other games taking place for this round is Seb versus Stevens, Charlie versus Theo in a battle of the football friends, and uh, Man's Dog versus George Benson. So without further ado, it's time to find out what happened when Lewis played Ryan. If Ryan can win this and score a fair few goals, it will put a lot of pressure on me and he could even overtake me in the league. But if Lewis can do me a favour, maybe get a draw or even a shock win, I could have one hand on the trophy. Let's find out what happened. Right, guys, this is it, the big one. Ryan Adams, joint top of the league table with myself, taking on Lewis Preston, who's not top, but you can, like West Ham have done many times in the Premier League, have a massive impact on who wins the league. Right, right. if you have an upset here, even if you just get a draw against Ryan, it could be enough to take me to the top, uh, as long as I win my remaining game. So, be tight. bit of pressure on you, Ryan, here. Yeah, definitely. You need, it's in your hands, really, this league. I feel this game against Lewis is more pressure than the game I had against you. It's, it's just a bigger game now, because now it's actually in my hands. Just got to go out there, score some goals, and that's it. It's Hopefully online. you'll have more than two shots this time, eh? Hopefully I might not even need them, as long as I score the two goals. <laughs> I'm not even worried. What's your game plan, Lou? Game plan is to not lose, mate. Oh, like the game, game plan, plan is to be able to secure the division for yourself. Oh, good man, good man. Well, listen, best of luck to both of you. Um, more good luck to Lewis than Ryan, though, because I'm hoping he does does me a solid here. But let, let, may the best man win. That's all right. Let's I like do it. it. I, can, I can take it. No. Oh! It's going to be like that, is it? Oh, 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 oh,
So we look at the right. team. So Ryan, you had two new players to bring in. You oh. brought in Team of the Season Alana and Eden Hazard. How they were still available at this point in the series, I do not know. Massive. Um, Lewis, you had one player to bring in. You brought in Aurier to sort out your chemistry a little bit, a right back. I needed them there. I've been struggling. I've dropped so many points lately and I had to bring them in. I'd like to say no backseat coaching as well, please. You know, once, once the whistle was gone. I'm just a fan of, of FIFA. I might say things that could help Lewis and he might hear them. <laughs> so I'm just a fan. I am Come on, Luke. sweating so I mean, much. It might be a little bit of lack of talking can here. Can you go get me a towel? In, in 90 minutes of FIFA, you can make me so proud of you, Luke. Come on, just wipe up on this. I'm ready. Come on. Yeah, you watch the eSports stuff. Harry and that constantly wiping their hands. I always swear. I'll be like your little guy in the corner of the ring. I'll throw the <sighs> towel in. <laughs> Come on, boys. Let's go. Lou on the edge of the box. Wakuso. Wakaso, even. His little silver CDM. He's whipping it That's in. Not what oh! Oh! oh that's early a chance for Lou. Oh, oh Lou's on, not on form here. Ben Arthur's got the ball. He's hit it from distance. Oh! oh. Tell you what, it's all LP right now. Oh, what a ball that is, oh, though. How was that happening? On the break, Eden Hazard on his debut for Ryan. Could get him off to a good start here. It's a big oh. save. Oh, God. Oh. Tackle, but he's not got through enough of it. Marshall! Big save again. Marshall is the top goal scorer in this competition right now, but he's not scored that one. Nice football on the break here from Ryan Adams. Roberto Firmino is in the box, puts it in towards the keeper. Oh, what's he's he done in. That shot must have happened. It was a shot, mate. Is that a double tap shot? It was indeed. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Learn that, that one, cross. Learn that one from stuff. Hashtag Harry, mate. Oh, I said it's against the run of play. Big. Take it on the break there. Hello, Ryan looking to create something here. Put the ball through the middle, it could be onside. Oh, big he's save. Me back. He's pulled me back. Big mm. save and a big chance for Ryan gone missing there. Bakao's got Cavani as an option. Can he create something here? Cavani. Oh, he's done well. He's still got it. Can he go back to the box into the header? It's a good chance. Better from Lou. Oh, it's a lovely ball there. For the right back, Karami. He's still far forward. Oh. That's oh, half time. Saved by the whistle. Look at that. Very even, actually. Both teams, four shots, all on targets. The keeper's doing well. Both, uh, yeah, quite even, I'd say. Obviously, Ryan's got the goal. So, 1 0 to Ryan. How are you both feeling at the halfway mark? Uh, not entirely great. I feel like I could have performed a lot better than I did. But you know, we got the goal, we got the lead, we got to build from that. Mm -hmm. Go on to the second half. Yes. I feel like I had the upper hand at the beginning. Mm. I mean, I got caught on the counter with that goal. Good finish, can't argue with it. I feel like I just need a goal. Get a goal, mate. Do it for the fans. The fans want to see you score, I know they do. I can hear it. Not well, it could be some Ryan Adams. I was going to say, fans. not my fans, mate, not my fans. Exactly. Ryan running through the middle here. Lallana has found out Hazard on the left hand side. Big chance for the Belgian. Massive tackle, falls oh, through the box. What a tackle. That tackle on Hazard was key. The tackles are killing me. That's a good Great chance here for Sacco. On the right hand side for Ryan. Going up against Perrin. Perrin strong, oh, but Sacco gets through him somehow. And he's sliding all over the shop. Still Sacco. That's a big tackle from uh, Lewis. Come to Hazard here, little shot dummy. Finds Marshall. Oh. Massive save. Rufier is bossing it. Falcao. Got a few options, he's held the ball up well. He's got a ball over this left hand side for Pekka. Can he take it down? What's he gonna do? Visit it in! Massive oh. shot! What a save! What a save! Lalu's down, he's off his chair. What a save that was. Last 10 minutes we're going into. Marquinhos. Oh, looking for Cavani. Oh, he's missed it! Oh my god. Wow. What a game. Can Lewis get another chance here? Falcao. Looking for a long ball for Cavani. If he brings it down, it's a great ball. Pen! Pen! Could it be? Oh. The bronze How's that not a pen? Flo of silver, I think, isn't it? Is, How's that not a pen? Could have been a pen, it would have been a light one. I don't believe it. 86 minutes on the clock. Get down for me, no. Go. Oh no, he's walked across him. Firmino, he's got no make energy. It here. Firmino, what a save! Oh. Rufier! He's literally oh. dead on his feet. Wow. Dead well, on his feet. Big. Big. Dig in now, Luke. Come that on. That's big, I needed that. Come on. Dean Maria's going to whip it in. Is it the header? Uh, defense has dealt with it and Ospina has come and claimed it and surely that's it ref, isn't it? Crystal's going to have to go soon. It's ah. gone. Could have been worse. One nil defeat to Ryan is one of the better results anyone's had in this series to be fair. Play pool. He's won every game apart from the game versus me. So I wouldn't say you were bad there, Lou. I was happy with my performance due to the last one of games I've had. What do you think of the game, Ryan? Uh, it was a tough game. It was. It was harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, didn't play well. Didn't take my chances like I normally do. You know, I don't get a lot of chances, so I'm normally very clinical. But today I got loads and just didn't take them. I think I rubbed off on you there. Yeah. <laughs> loads of chances not taken. Playing them. in this room too much, mate. Let's take a look at the end game stats. Eight shots for Ryan, six for Lewis. So Ryan did have all his shots on target as well, which is good. But it shows that Rufier had a very good game. 
possession was quite close, so you'd you probably say, based on those stats, it was the right result. 1 0 to Ryan. Yeah. Well played, boys. yeah, I'd probably give it that as well. Fair there enough, you go. Well That's done. the way the cookie crumbles. So there you go guys, actually a decent game between Lewis and Ryan. I think Lewis probably surprised a few people. Ryan got the win but didn't score a lot of goals, so I'm still in the driver's seat going into the final round. Let's take a look at the league table after that game. So as you can see, me and Ryan have played the same amount of games now. We've both played eight. We're completely level on points and uh, I've just got a free goal uh, advantage in goal difference. Okay, So if I can win my last game, score a few goals, he'll have to smash his last opponent in order to win the league. Theo Baker, he's still got a chance if he can win his remaining two games and get a lot of goals to win this whole thing. Meanwhile, the likes of George, Mange Dog, and even Lewis are struggling at the other end. That is it for this episode of Footballers, guys. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you've enjoyed it. Make sure you check out all the guys' links and channels in the description. Particularly check out Lewis Preston's channel and Ryan Adams' Instagram. Make sure you're following them if you don't already. And uh, subscribe for more. I'll see you on the finale of the Footballers series. The question is, will I be champion? I hope so. See you when you're older. Don't go changing. <laughs>